You cannot get something from nothing. There has to be a source behind this. If you look now, for the first time in human history, we have scientists that are denying design. They say that it's only a trick in the mind that you have been designed. And yet, we can clearly see the design of our bodies. People that say, well, you just don't understand natural selection. You don't understand the mechanisms of evolution that would enable you to, uh, to, uh, to reach this level of complexity without a God, which my 15 year old was studying biology and his teacher was an atheist. And he came and told me that he was, he was studying biology and, and he said that his teacher said that we can explain life without God. And I said that, that biologists should not interfere with cosmology. A biologist should stay in biology and not start talking about cosmology because that's another science, cosmology. And it reminded me of the, the joke about the biologists that meet God and God asked them what they're up to and they said, well, we've gotten rid of you. And, and, and God asked the biologists, how did you get rid of me? And they said, well, we can explain how we got here without you. And he said, well, how would you do that? He said, well, first we take some cosmic dust. And God says, no, 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 wait a second. Get your own dust. Right? You see, because where, where did it all start? Where did we come from? Even if evolution explained how we have evolved as a species, it doesn't explain where the original material came from. Man cannot bring anything into existence from nothing. He makes organs from already existing cells. The cloning comes from already existing cells. He's now in stem cell research and doing all of these things. Everything that he makes has pre-existing materials. We cannot make anything out of, out of uh, nothing. It's impossible for humans to do that because nothing comes from nothing. And this is why my own teacher said, Kadab al-Mulhidun, the atheists are liars. Al-Admu la yujid al-wujud. Non-existence cannot bring existence. Al-Fawda la yukawin al-Nidham. Anarchy or chaos cannot bring order into existence. Al-Jahilu la yalid al-Ilm. Ignorance cannot bring knowledge into existence. And then he said, Inna ma hiya intikasu aqliyyin this is the inversion, this is an intellectual inversion of reality, like somebody who's walking on his head and his feet are in the air. That this is something that humans have never believed. And, and this argument now of the modern atheists, the, the, this is an ancient argument. Atheists have always been around. In fact, atheists were actually more sophisticated a hundred years ago than they are today. And this is the truth because a hundred years ago they were well versed in philology like Nietzsche. They were well versed in, they were, uh, they were profound philosophers. Even at the time of Socrates, there were atheists. People forget that Marx, who was, a, who was an atheist, he did his, uh, his PhD dissertation was on the materialists, the Greek materialists. So he had studied materialistic philosophy. So this argument, this modern argument is not a new argument. It's, it's a very old argument and our scholars dealt with this argument extensively but people don't read their books anymore. And one of the simplistic views of some of these modern Muslims that deny theology and the tradition of theology, they have no response to these new atheists. They have no response other than to say kuffar. But this is not enough because Muslims have always dealt with these things intellectually in a, in a, in a, in a tradition called Radd al-Shubuhat, which is refutation of, of the obfuscations that are brought out by the atheists. محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن